Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul. This is kind of a mishmash of a lot of different things. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and show you what I showed in my thumbnail. They are back with the Sunbeam lamps. These are the flexible LED desk lamp. It says no bulbs to replace and I believe these are plug-in. They're not, they're not run by battery. I'm gonna see if I can open it quickly just to get an idea. Yes, they do plug in. They're the ones with kind of the gooseneck and you can bend them into any, any shape to shine the light wherever you need it. I already have a couple of these. I absolutely love them. They did come in black as well, but I've just picked up one in the white. I didn't see any of the other lamps though with the shade that come in black or white. I didn't see those. I only saw these with the gooseneck. These are just really nice lamps. Everything's included in there for a dollar, dollar, <clears throat> excuse me, dollar 25. You can't beat that. So I picked up one just to have on hand. I think it's great. So yeah, and I found these in the Westminster, Maryland store. So keep a lookout. Where can I stick this without dropping it too hard? I don't even know which way to go here. Dose? I know Uno, and I've been on the lookout for the little teeny deck of Uno cards, but I can't find them, but they had Dose. I have no idea how you play this one compared, compared to Uno, but I figured when the grandkids come around, we're gonna, we're gonna figure out how to play this. It does have a little sticker on it, holding it shut. These cards are so small, and I just think it's adorable. They're even smaller than the box. Look how tiny this deck of cards is. I just think that is so cute. They look like traditional Uno cards. So next time the grandkids come, we're going to learn how to play Dose, because I I don't know how to play that compared to Uno. So I am on the lookout for the Uno deck, but... We don't own an Uno deck in this house, but these would be great for traveling. If you're going away and getting a hotel room, little tiny deck like this, throw it in your purse and your travel bag and doesn't take up much space. I think it's cute. I was, I'm gonna do the stuff on this side of the table first. One of the clapper things. These are annoying as all get out but the littlest grand lady absolutely loves them. We bought one of the laundry baskets at the Dollar Tree and a lot of her toys are in there. Whenever she comes to visit, this is probably one of the first things she grabs out of the, her little basket and a Dollar Tree cell phone. Those are two of her favorite things. So Dollar Tree stuff, kids love it. But these are annoying. She has figured out how to do it and do it well. So this is going in her Easter basket. I know her parents aren't gonna be happy about it, but she will, so this is for her. It just reminds me of watermelon colors. I thought it was so cute. So you wanna, you wanna make your grandchildren happy and annoy your kids? Get one of these. I transplanted, I've been talking about it for a while now. I had an aloe vera plant that I bought on clearance at Aldi's months ago. And it just came in a little tiny terracotta pot and I knew it was time to be transplanted. So I did that this past week and I, I put sand on top of all of my plants and it just helps keep the bugs away. I don't know if any of you have ever had a problem with those little teeny, teeny black flies. Happened to me a few years back. I had bought some potting soil from somewhere and it must have had those little tiny black flies. I did some research and they said to put a layer of sand on top of your plants. And those little flies don't like the feel or something of the sand. They can't get down in to lay their eggs. So they end up eventually all dying. So I've been doing this for years now and I've never had a problem since. So every plant in my house gets a layer of sand and I grabbed it while I saw it. And like I said, I transplanted that aloe and Oh, I felt so bad. That thing was so root bound. There was no dirt left in the little pot. Where does the dirt go when a plant does that? There was dirt in it. Where did it go? I don't know. They don't eat it. I have no idea. So yeah, that's what the little bag of sand is for. Kind of random. 
drop it on the floor. I picked up two of these a while back. You saw them in one of my hauls. I saw it again and grabbed another one. These are just so convenient to have. What I did with the two I have is I'm actually separating my makeup into compartments, like put my foundations and powders in one, my concealer in another, my makeup brushes in another, just separating my makeup in these and it's working well. So I grabbed another, this one, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but when I saw it, I grabbed it because you know how that goes. You see things at the Dollar Tree and the next time you think, yeah, I don't need it this time. And then you do need it, you go back, it's gone. So I grabbed it and they did have this in black, I believe as well, but I just grabbed a white one. These are so nice. It has the handle to carry it around. You can put your cleaning supplies, your cleaning brushes, rags, gloves, plastic gloves, whatever you need in here, carry it around from level to level in your house. I just, I think they're great. So I grabbed one. Let's see. Oh, here's some more cards that we picked up. These are for the littlest lady. These are Dr. Seuss number flashcards. And these are just all of the numbers with the little coordinating pictures. You get 36 cards in here. And this is for pre-K, pre-kindergarten to kindergarten. It's never too early to start teaching your kids numbers and letters and colors and read to them and you guys know I'm, I'm big on that. So we picked that up for her. It's probably going to go in her Easter basket. And then we found the one with colors and shapes. And it is also 36 cards. So I thought those were pretty cool. Very bright primary colors. I thought that was excellent. So we grabbed one of each of those. Stacking her Easter basket, stocking it, is different than the bigger kids. With For her, you can't put candy and things like that in. So it's trying to find things that, you know, that'll interest her at one year old. Saw these and thought this was pretty interesting. It's by Cooking Concepts. You get 10 pieces in here. And these are the canning snap lids. They do have the seal on the inside. You get 10 in here. I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I grabbed two. I don't know if I'll be doing any canning this year, but I use mason jars all the time for other things. I put candy in it, you know, and you need a lid and the screw on. I use them all the time, and after a while, they get cruddy. You throw them away, so these are going to go in the drawer, and I, I will use these. There's no doubt about it. I have no idea how these work, though, for canning, so if you guys know that, let me know. I saw these and thought this was pretty interesting. They, it was by the B Color brand, and they're adhesive nail tabs, and you get 24 pieces in here. I've never used nail tabs in my life. I've never even used the nails maybe way, way back in the 70s when they had the Lee press-on nails, if you guys all remember those. That was probably the last time I used nails that had tabs. But they're little, it looks like silicone or something, little stick-on things. But I'm going to give these a try. I thought this would be nice if I want a set of nails, but I only want it for one day, and then I can take them off. It says, use in place of nail glue to apply your artificial nails. You just peel, stick, and apply the nails by B color, and it has the directions on the back. So if you guys have tried these, let me know what you think. How, how good are they? Do they really stick or are they junk? I don't know, but I'm going to try it. We have a birthday coming up. So I saw this curling ribbon and thought it was really pretty. It's the pale purple, the light bright green, a pretty blue color and pink. And it is how many yards? By the Voila Company gift ribbon. It is 3 sixteenths inch by 120. Yeah, I'm sorry, a thousand. I can't read today, guys. 1,200 inch. You get four colors. It is 33.35 yards by 100 feet. I'm having trouble reading today, but I thought that was really pretty. And I got it to go with these gift bags. I got two of the exact same bag. It says hip, hip, hooray on it. It's the tan background with looks like little sprinkles or confetti. Just very pretty pastel prints, purples and pinks and greens and yellows. And I thought one of these colors would look nice on there. 
but if it didn't work, I got this to go on it instead, which I will probably use this. I can tell right now it looks nice. And <clears throat> these bags are big, guys. I don't know what the dimensions are on these. They're just called a gift bag, but these are the nice big gift bags. So I grabbed two. And this curly ribbon, it is also by Voila. It just says bows. And you do get two, two bows on this cart. It's gonna be very hard for me to show. But they just kind of rip. It's perforated. Is that the right word? Right here with the sticky thing that you peel off the back. But I'll probably be, use both on the bags. So, oh, I could use one on each bag. Oh, that was genius, wasn't it? But I just thought that was really pretty. It's purple and kind of iridescent. So pretty. They had so many different colors and styles and anything you would need. Go to the Dollar Tree for your gift bags and bows and cards. And it's a great deal there. So grab one of that. I'm trying to just move things out of my way here. And while the grand ladies were here, I showed this mask. Well, London actually took it home with her. I knew she would. And I picked up either another one for myself or one for Harper. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. I take that one of you asked how I keep them from shedding. This is the first time that I've ever bought the masks, the one that I showed Few, bit, few videos back. These are glitter bombs. I take things like this outside and I shake them off the best that I can to get as much of the glitter, the loose glitter off. And then I either spray it with hairspray and let it dry completely. Or I use, you can get it at the Dollar Tree. It's in a spray can. It's like spray adhesive in the craft section. I spray things down with that as well. Just make sure it dries clear and just let it sit. It might take a day or two for it to completely dry. I don't know what I will use on these, but I think they are absolutely stunning. And I could tell by Harper's reaction in that video that she wished that she would have had one. So I picked up a silver and I'll let her choose which one she wants. They also had it in this beautiful royal blue color. So pretty. And these are the masks. They don't have an elastic band. They tie behind your head. They also had this in pink and gold. I was hoping I could find one in black, but I could not find one in black. So I got one of the silver and one of the blue. And then we saw this one as well that maybe she would like. And it's it has kind of lace and there's kind of a, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that very well, but it's almost like a lacy detail around it. I don't wanna open it. I wanna give it to her, so. But it's kind of like a lace edging around it rhinestones around the eye openings so so pretty so I grabbed those and she can pick she can pick whichever one she wants and then if if the um our other granddaughter the eight-year-old or six-year-old would want one then we'll let her pick one as well and then London she had showed in one of the videos this kind of cardboard fold out. They look like a, a room on each side. Like there's a living room on one side, kind of like color forms. And I had misspoke and said that a, a doll came with it. I feared there would be kind of like a, um, what are the, what the doll dolls called back in the day that they were paper dolls. I thought there would be like a paper doll in there. And I, I didn't even read it that well whenever we showed it and I misspoke. There was no paper doll in there. So she wanted a couple dolls to play with that. And I don't have any Barbies here. We have no Barbies in this house. When the girls are here, the grandkids, they play with the kitchen set, Legos, um, matchbox cars, tracks, that type of thing. And we had no Barbies. So I picked up these two. They're just Dollar Tree brand. Are they the greatest? No. Are they the prettiest? No. But they do the job. And it's just called a fashion doll. She is a brunette. They had all different hair colors, skin tones, eye colors, all with different different little dresses and outfits on. And they come with a few accessories, a purse and other shoes and a little brush and a necklace. And they're both the same. This one is the blonde. And I can see a little mirror and brush and purse back here with her. And she's in the pink dress. She's in the yellow. And right beside that, they had all of these outfits. 
So I figured while I was getting the dolls, I'd get them some outfits. I hope that these work. It says fits most 11.5 inch doll. And I hope she's an 11.5 inch, but so I picked up this one. This is kind of the rock star and it says dream, play, discover. This is like a rock star. She has a microphone and a fancy shimmery silver dress and some funky orange shoes. So we picked up, or I picked up that. This one is a, this one looks like a chef. Also says the same thing. It has a little spatula there, a flipper and little sneakers. Thought that was really cute. And then this looks like maybe a vet. And she has the little puppy, another pair of little sneakers there and just the white like nurse's uniform to work in a veterinarian's office. So picked up those for them. Every time I, I hear the word veterinarian, London pops into my mind many years ago. Story time, guys, short one. Many years ago, we had we meet our daughters and son-in-law and to pick up the grandladies to bring them here. It's a five hour trip. So we meet about halfway. It's about two and a half hour drive. And we stop at a sheets to meet. And me and the girls and Poppy, we had gone inside and we're coming out and there was a gentleman sitting on a motorcycle and he had his, you know, his hat that he had served in the military and a vest that he had served in the military. And as we were walking by, you know, I thanked him for his service, which I, I try to whenever I see a, a vet. And I thanked him and we got in the car and London says to Poppy, she said, Poppy, weren't you a veterinarian? It, it was just so funny. My husband is vet. He was Marine Corps. And it was just so funny when she said veterinarian instead of veteran. So I thought that was cute. But anyway, story time over. But every time I hear it, that's what I think of. All right, guys, that is it for this haul. I am going to get this stuff put away and find myself something for lunch. I'm hungry. If you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe talking about the girls if you guys want to keep up with what's going on in their lives go over and check out my daughter's channel the holistic homesteader if she has some great content everybody it just blows my mind the things she comes out with i'll link it down below the holistic homesteader have a great day everybody um i'm going to talk to you again here really soon peace